Welcome back here on Adelante Chicago. If you've never heard of Alebrijes, here's your chance to learn all about them as a new exhibit takes shape in the Chicago area. Our Annabella Val has more. Lourdes, I am so excited about this larger than life exhibition at Cantini Park is here until October. And it's all about alebrijes, those mythical creatures that a lot of people came to know because of film Coco, but they are so much more than that to the Mexican culture. I'm here with Sarah Phelan from the Mexican Cultural Center of DuPage. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Anna. You guys commissioned this exhibition. Tell me a little bit about how the idea came about. So we do large scale art pieces once a year and usually have been based in the city of Chicago, West Chicago with mm -hmm. those. But we thought, let's bridge out, we're DuPage. So we reached out to Cantini Park in this beautiful park oh God, that yes. so much of our culture comes to for picnics, for family gathering. And what a better place than to showcase these huge aspects of art and Mexican culture. Who built these? So we have six artists from Mexico City that built these 48, 49. They're currently working on an, another yeah. octopus right now. They built these mostly in Mexico because of the pandemic. They mm -hmm. were supposed to come over in January and February, but they ended up constructing most of them and then in pieces they were shipped here. So you have uh, how many monumental ones? So we have 18 Alebrije Monumentales mm -hmm. and those are the large ones mm -hmm. and then 30 additional smaller pieces. And you're staying very faithful to the original concept. They're made of the same thing the smaller scale ones are made of. Tell me about it. Absolutely. So Pedro Linares, who mm -hmm. actually created Alebrijes yeah. in the 1930s, was a cartonero mm -hmm. and that's how all six of our artists are trained in cartoneria, and that is paper mache yeah. art. So although ours have a little bit firmer of steel bases underneath them, they're still just paper mache. I can't believe it. How are you going to protect it from our crazy summer? Uh, they have lots of lacquer mm -hmm. on them, and we'll continue to treat them over the summer and through the exhibition. And when we explain to the artists what Illinois weather was like, they're yeah. like, yeah, yeah, we got it. You have rain, you have wind. And they spent a week here where it was 52. We had a tornado yeah. warning. It was 95. They're like, oh, Oh, that's Illinois weather. That's what you meant. Yeah, yeah, that. <laughs> and I love that they are also building one as we speak that will be featured as a collaboration. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So all six artists are working together on an octopus that they'll be building here at Cantini Park through the 4th of July. You guys bought these, you commissioned them so that all these artists could get a paycheck Absolutely. quickly, have a um, you know, it would be a fair trade, if you will. Absolutely. What are you going to do with them when they're done? Well, they will be going to some schools, some local oh, museums, yay. and then available to people who want to purchase them or sponsor them. And then some of them will stay and be on exhibition here in DuPage and travel as well. I love it. Lourdes, you have to come out and see this. I encourage everyone. It's, they're going to be at Cantini Park in Wheaton until October. Back to you. Oh, it sounds fantastic. And there's the information on the screen. Alebrijes, Creatures of a Dream World through October 30th, Contigny Park in Wheaton. And again, the website, contigny.org.